with Terry, Howie, Michael, and Jimmy. Let's roll through the scoreboard here so far in week one. Minnesota up by 10 over San Diego at halftime. Well, your favorite NFL team all season long. Go to iTunes.com NFL. And welcome to the booth, everybody. Ron Pitts, Jim Mora, 17-7 Vikings with an outstanding showing, especially on defense. They are pressuring Phillip Rivers. Well, they're doing a great job of getting to him multiple ways. They're getting to him with a four-man rush. They'll add a fifth rusher on. You've seen him add a seventh rusher in Blitz, which is rare yeah. when you're talking about the Vikings. But they're not allowing Phillip Rivers to get comfortable in the pocket. They're keeping him off balance both with pressure and with the coverage looks, and it's been really effective. If they're not knocking him down, they're around him, they're hitting him, they're down around his legs, they're up around his body. He feels the pressure, and, and he's locking on receivers a little bit and leading the defenders into the throw but he is a frustrated young man right now he went in the locker room let's hope he got himself under control and come back and, and get a little rhythm going but i'm sure you know he's a determined guy he's a competitor they'll have a good second half and the guy that impresses me the most for the vikings I and mean, there's several but uh, uh, brian robison has just been on oh. fire i mean he is a perfect complement to allen on the other side just flip the number upside down i guess that's the thinking but he is coming around the corner and clary jeremy clary is having trouble blocking him well you, when you've got a guy like Robinson working opposite Allen, who's one of the great sackers in the history of the National Football League, you can't turn your protection to Allen all the time and leave your right tackle isolated because Robinson makes you pay, and he's doing that right now. We saw it on film when we prepared for this game, and now we're seeing it in real life. You know, you watched it in preseason, you said, is this real? You know, it's preseason, is this really who this guy is? And so far, he's shown me, Ronnie, that he is a legitimate outside pass rush threat for these guys. Let's go down to the third member of our crew standing by on the sidelines, Drea Aven. Drea. Well, I spoke to Leslie Frazier, and he said he's happy with the way his team is playing in all three phases of the game. But they have to remember this is a four-quarter game. They have to stay the course. And I also asked him about the pressure on Phillip Rivers. He says, I absolutely love it. So as far as Coach Turner is concerned, he said, that is going to be the key for us. We have to be more balanced because they are pressuring Phillip, and that is going to be the key to us possibly coming back and winning this game. And we can't give up big plays in the kicking game, guys. Uh, well, you know, that's the story around here, what seems like for ages. Not only was it the big kick return for a touchdown by Harvin, penalties.